you like tannins that rip your face off? Check this out next on Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. So let's get into some Italian wine today. We have the 2014 Ca de Barbaresco Outin, Outin Bay. Um, so and it looks like you should say it like uh, Outin Beige or whatever, but Google Translate pronounced it for me and it came out Outin Bay. So hopefully that's correct. So anyway, uh, Psalm Select, 41 bucks. Uh, it's my good friend Ian Cobble. He's actually not my good friend. I haven't even met the guy. We should meet Ian. Matter of fact, we should do an interview at some point in time. Like, meet in person if, if you want. Hey, you're going to be at the Portland uh, advanced exam? Let's talk. All right, so 41 bucks, Psalm Select. I really enjoy buying wines from these guys. Uh, 2014, definitely a highly rated vintage. So uh, in this case, for the winery, we're on the fourth generation winemaker, uh, Giulio Grasso. Uh, the winery is in uh, Terezo, and it's one of three key villages in Barbaresco. Uh, the other two being uh, um, Neve, somehow uh, it, it came up, uh, Neve, uh, Neve, and Barbaresco, oddly enough, because it's actually a village too. Um, they, have a, they have 25 hectares of sustainably farmed vineyards. Uh, the grapes for this wine are sourced from the younger vines uh, in uh, the Maccarini and the Ferrare, uh, Ferrare, sorry, uh, Cruz. And Maccarini is east facing and uh, Ferrare is west facing. Uh, they're located in, um, look in Terezo. And uh, I got some pictures there of the, of the, uh, of the, vineyard maps and I got those from the actual website for this place there we go after I get done with all this all these reviews I need to probably actually clean the needle and rinse it all out I don't want to buy another needle yet but sometimes it's just that whole difficulty thing is the needles wearing out or the the Teflon coating is wearing out all right so let's get into this wine So definitely some red fruits, not quite candied, but um, it doesn't smell like they're dried out or or um, or uh, tart. It's almost like a, a like a red cola. So here in Texas, there's a red cola called Big Red, and I'm not saying it smells like that because it really doesn't. Because Big Red's kind of almost like bubble gum, like sickly sweet smelling it's delicious but um there's like a red soda quality to it, almost like a cream soda yeah okay uh we dig a little deeper that pretty much goes away but there's like a cherry like like a black cherry, a little bit of chocolate. It actually reminds me of this yogurt that uh, we have at the house. It's a, it's a, I think it's called Black Jack, something like that. It's a frozen yogurt. Uh, it's got cherry and chocolate in it. it. It reminds me a little bit of that. And there's kind of a vanilla aroma too. And like this kind of spicy, almost cinnamon, maybe 
kind of a heat coming from it. So I don't know if it's like a cinnamon spice or it's alcohol, but it's starting to come through the nose. I mean, honestly, there isn't a whole lot on the nose. It's like, there's like just really just like four or five things, which I guess is a lot. It feels like it, it's trying to tease you, like drink me because you're gonna be like wowed by the flavor. So let's just get on the palate. High tannin. Sometimes Nebbiolos kind of creep up on me. I've even had Barolos like take a minute or two to like creep up on me. Usually Barbarescos are like, no nah, man, we're gonna chill over here for a minute, then we're gonna come slap you. It kind of hit pretty quick. But all those aromas I talked about, they're there. Now, it's not like ripe fruit, like a ripe cherry and chocolate, but it feels like it's there. But I mean, my, it's like getting dried out. But there's more non-fruit for me really than anything else. Good Lord, it's drying me out. Like if I was blinding this, at first I'd be kind of confused from the aroma and the, and the, and the, the palate and like, man, is this really like, like what is this? But then, especially like the cherry and it's, it's, a, it's a light color. So I'm like, man, this is Pinot Noir. And then the tannin, is ripping my face off and I'm like, this is not Pinot Noir. I don't know why I thought it was Pinot Noir. Not that I think it right now, but, and I'd be like, there's only one thing it can be is friggin' Nebbiolo because that's what Nebbiolo does. It kind of seduces you. It's like, oh, I like colored and I'm gonna be all, you know, this. and then it goes, bam. And it goes, no, man, I'm like, so yeah, I'm not gonna use that reference. Not that it was a bad reference, just trying to like not have like the, fluff going on. Plus, this episode is going to come out way after the reference I'm going to use was on TV, so. Yeah, and there's, there's actually a little bit of like rubber tire going on here. Yeah. It took it a minute, but you get this like little little tire aroma and flavor, a little bit of leather, a little bit of dust, not really too dusty. Um, my mouth is watering, like the acid is kind of pretty high. And the red fruits are really, are really kind of like in the background. It's It's got the red cherry, it's got a little bit of that chocolate, so it's a little bit of that yogurt thing going on but it's not like a ripe, it's not really ripe, it's a little more tart, but it's like dry. And it's more of an overall feeling of the wine. And there's like an herbaceousness to it right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's somewhat, it's somewhat oregano-like, but not really. I mean, do I like the wine? I like the wine. I was kind of expecting a little bit different from the wine and maybe it just needs to be actually opened up I'm sure, you know, with it being Nebbiolo, it probably has to be actually opened. So this is something where I'll probably have to open it another point in time and, and really do that. Then again, so this set of reviews, not to do housekeeping, but every single one of these wines is a testable wine. And I did that on purpose because I'm studying for that exam. And uh, these will be wines that I'll probably visit, revisit using the Corvin and doing small, small pours so I can really analyze wine rather than just drink the wine. Yeah, I didn't mean to like go through all that, but it was relevant. But yeah, man, this was, it's a good wine. It's not my favorite of the night, but I think this is something where I kind of need to like sit down and just like enjoy it and probably should have like dinner with it. So this may be a wine I'll actually just open up and just drink. Um, even though I only have one bottle of this. I only have one bottle of most wines. The, the last week's wine, that's one of the rare times I buy two bottles. All right, yeah, this is good wine.
It's opening up in the glass. I think it's just needs, it just needs air. It needs time. It's opening the glass. It's softening up a little bit now. The fruit's coming through a little bit more. It's more of a dried fruit now. Uh, now it's become more of a, kind of a dried cherry, a little dried cranberry, a little dried raspberry. So it, it's starting to it's starting to really open up. So this is something where I guess technically I should have opened or put in a glass, you know, um, half an hour before I actually did the review, but I don't ever think ahead like that. All right, so that's gonna do it. If you see the wine, you should check it out, buy it. It's not terribly expensive. I mean, it's 40 bucks, it ain't cheap, that's for sure. But I mean, as far as Barbaresco's uh, Barolos go, you know, as far as entry level, if you wanna call $40 entry level, it's, it's, priced, it's priced right there. So check it out. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Links above if you're on the website for all the all the social media stuff, uh, or hit links in the description to uh, do all that. Hit the PayPal button either on the website or hit the PayPal description below. Help with that advanced exam that I talked about, and uh, I'll be at links for the winery. See anything else? Yeah, subscribe to this thing. Uh, get me over, get me over that 1,000 subscriber deal, and uh, we'll see everyone again next time.